Hello everybody and welcome to Autovox Plays The Long Dark. It's been about a, been like five days since I actually got done with the uh, last episode, so excuse me if I'm a little rusty, but basically what's going on is we are kind of sh we're kind of up shit creek without a paddle. Uh, we're trying to make the best of the situation that we got going on right now, and from what I understand, we are starving really, really badly, and our most logical course of action, at least according to me, is to actually make our way out of this area. So now that we're all warmed up and ready to go, I think it's time for us to actually go ahead and do it. Um, let's take a little drink before I actually do that. So I'm going to see if I can make my way out of Desolation Point, and we're going to hope for the best, honestly. It's minus 10. We're not going to be able to get super, super far, but we're going to actually have to end up Hopefully running into some sort of cabin, some sort of um, trailer, anything of the sort that would allow us to get some sustenance. We are obviously starving and that's not very good. Because, granted we can last for a little while, but our condition is at 89%. And that's not going to be that way for very long because we have other factors to worry about such as cold and... Um, like how rested we are because walking against the wind is actually draining us quite a bit sure we can run right now to actually make it so that we have, we're not going to get stopped too too hard but it's not the best idea hey our old footprints from the time before when we actually walked out that's pretty neat um but yeah basically we only have about 800 ish calories to spare and we're burning through them pretty freaking quickly so in all honesty we're gonna hope for the best but expect the worst Ew, buddy. Well, nice way to start the intro to say hi to everybody. You're all f gassy. Just let one rip next to your dad. Ugh. I love you, buddy, but damn, what the hell. That was some hell spawn that came out of your butt. He farted, if that if that wasn't very apparent. Um, I know, buddy. I love you, too. But daddy's got to record for right now, okay? So, go lay down. Good boy. Love you, too. Alrighty, now, let's just make our way through this area. Again, hey, the wind's subsided a little bit, so we actually can walk a bit faster. That's pretty sweet. Okay, hopefully the exit isn't too, too far. I'm assuming it's just going to be along this path. But yeah, my butt, like, it, it, like I said, it's been, like, about five days. Well, I'm recording this on Tuesday. And the last time I played was on Thursday, last week, so y'all can do the math on that. It's been a while, but basically, I had a, my buddy, um, have you guys probably have heard him on stream or something like that, he has like fucking so many hours in this thing. I think he survived almost to 100 days, granted he's only playing on Voyager like me, but if I actually die, I may or may not go back and do a harder playthrough. Because on my last file, I got I felt like I got to the point where it was impossible for me, me to die unless I severely fucked up. And I feel like I am competent enough to actually survive a little bit, but I don't know. Like, again, this playthrough isn't necessarily doing too much to reinforce that fact. Anyway, um, hopefully the freaking exit to the next area isn't too damn far. Or hopefully we, we at least can find it. Because this doesn't look like it's here. We reached the blocked highway. Shit. Is there, is there a way around? Because this is the blocked highway. And we're not going to be able to get over it, obviously. Shit. Oh. Well, fuck. If it's not this way... Then maybe it's up and around over there? I don't know, this is just a guess, but I can't freaking think of anywhere else it could possibly be. Okay, so there's two options that I can think of. It would be... One, going up through the mountains, but also maybe also going around through the ocean. So I'm gonna check up here. Hopefully we run into something that will allow us to get to the other side. I'm guessing that there might be something over there. That's just a hunch, though. Um, 
Again, there's not too many things that I want to pick up right now, just because I don't want to make it so that we become over encumbered and move slower. Actually, this might be our way out. So here's hoping. <sighs> okay, but yeah, I'm pretty excited to get back into the long dark because I have been playing a fuckload of Fire Emblem and a lot of Isaac. Holy shit, so much Isaac. Y'all probably actually haven't seen some of it because I've been playing a bit off camera because I do want to get a lot of the achievements because it's kind of boring, at least in my opinion, to watch someone grind out achievements that they probably should have to begin with. Such as the like unlocking Lost, Keeper, that sort of thing. So I'm just grinding out those runs. And when I am in a position where I can actually like um, start getting those new unlocks, I will be showing you guys, but that's not until a little bit later. So this does look like it's actually going to take us out of the de out of Desolation Point, so that's pretty damn exciting. Oh goodness. I don't know. I'm hoping that we run into something good. I really, really do hope we run into something good. And speaking of something good, this might be it. This might be a tick our ticket out. So let's go in here. Hey, leave Desolation Point. So we're out, son! And let's drink this fucking soda. We get this lantern feel and a newspaper roll. We're gonna check all the drawers and make sure- Yo, what the fuck? A hacksaw. Nice, nice, nice. Well, I've actually never run into a hacksaw before, so that's pretty damn exciting. It makes it so that we actually can all get some scrap metal from this extra stuff, but let's hurry up and eat this stuff. And chug, chug, chug. Alright, good. I am feeling pretty damn happy right now. This is exciting, if anything. So we're gonna go down in here and hopefully not get completely lost. We're gonna actually have to crack open our lantern and but I will have to light, like, like refuel this thing. So let's go into our inventory really quickly and let's refuel. We only have a limited supply, so we'll do our best to not completely burn it out. But if we end up having to do that, I hope that we can actually find some sort of lantern fuel somewhere else in here. All right, so we're in this area and I'm freaking hoping that we don't run into any nonsense. So we got some coal, hey nice and some simple tools. We don't actually need that because we have quality tools. And at least I hope we do. I'm pretty sure we didn't drop that. But extra coal is actually going to be pretty damn nice. If we ever run into another furnace, which from what I remember that there only is one in the the Rickon and there's also one in the Forlorn Muskig. Those are the only two that come to mind. If anything, these are just extra bits that we can actually use to burn while we're here. So, how much does this weigh? About 0.3. We're not too overweight right now, so I don't feel too bad about doing this, and we can still run, so this is totally fine. Oh, goodness. Alright, just making our way through these mines. Hopefully there's no fucking bear in here. That would be fucking terrible. Alright, duck our ass through here. Come on. There we go. This is slightly... it's slightly scary, but I'm also pretty damn excited to actually be in this sort of area. Just because of the fact that's... this is a new area to me, and... It's... the music's not necessarily helping to reassure me that this is a totally safe area. So that's pretty cool, I guess. Unless we have some tools... Yo! We ran into some shit! Hey, some antiseptic! Some crates. Oh, hey, some accelerant. A chocolate bar. Uh, we don't necessarily need a flare. And we got a workbench. That's pretty sweet. How is this temperature in here? It's about 19. So if we really needed to, we can crack that thing open. Um, I do want to continue exploring out into this area. Oh, what the fuck? Come on. That was, a, that was a mistake on my part, on my apologies, but we did actually get a little bit of food, so we're gonna ch we're basically just, we have to eat everything we can get on for right now. And alrighty. Good. Pick up the coal. This music is very ominous. 
It's like, you're not alone in these minds. Although that could just be me um, being an, a dum dum, but that's besides the point right now. So we have 12 pieces of coal. That's pretty sweet. And we probably shouldn't carry too much more, if anything. So we're gonna go through here. And there doesn't necessarily seem to be too much going on in this part. We have to crawl through here. And that actually looks like an exit out. Alrighty. So we're gonna hop up. And yeah, this is the way out. So we're gonna extinguish our lamp. Because we don't need to have it on for right now. And yeah, just pick up a lot of the extra shit that we have. We have a pry bar so we can actually open this up, so that's pretty damn good. So some good, some like food. Hope nobody needs this anymore. The ear wolves are actually okay. A light shell, we'll pick it up I guess. But no food. Just a bunch of coal. Alright, um, one second, I shall be right back. Okay, I am back right now, so let's just get back into it. Um, sorry about that. Weigh me down. Yeah, you telling me. So we can actually run right now because we are a little overweight. That's to be expected because we just picked up a bunch of coal. Probably about four kilos worth. Um, but yeah, basically what we want to do right now is we want to make it so that we actually can get to some sort of shelter. Because we are in minus four temperature right now. That over there looks slightly promising, but although it is run down. Okay, just keep walking. We are actually above zero degrees Celsius, so... Actually, never mind. When we're blocked from the wind, we are. Alright, this is pretty exciting. We actually managed to get out of there, and we're in a little bit better shape than we were when we actually went into the mines. So that's pretty cool. Going to here. It's plus seven. Interesting. This will come handy. We got some driving gloves. And frozen angler. That's pretty good. Is there ever anything in the visor? I can't imagine anyone would actually put any other shit in here. So it seems kind of silly to actually like, hey, you can look at the visor. Alright, that's the blocked highway that we couldn't get across. Anything down here? There doesn't seem to be anything inherently of interest in this particular area, except that fucking wolf. Fuck you, wolf! Roo, 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 roo. fuck you! I'm not gonna touch that even with a fucking 10,000 foot knife. No thank you. Don't talk to me or my family ever again. I will find you and murder you. Okay. As long as we can find some place to sleep and get food, then we should be totally fine. And as to be expected, this place is kind of dilapidated. Like, almost completely so. Yeah, there's nothing here. There's a little bit of refined wood, but we don't need that right now. And it might be a little, it's probably a little bit unfortunate for us to actually find that bit of, um, coal. Mm, but I don't, I feel like we probably shouldn't drop it. Because coal, from what I understand, is kind of hard to come by. It may or may not be the truth, but I am going to subscribe to that idea, at least for now. Considering that, we do we do really, really need to find some place to stay. Oh my fucking god, fuck you, fuck you, wolf, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Wolf, I need you to fuck off. Okay, I'm leaving you alone, I'm walking the other direction, just fuck off. Fucking asshole. Dude, I'm leaving you alone, I need you to fuck off. Chase the rabbit. Chase that rabbit, okay, thank you, good. Yeah, you asshole. Sorry, rabbit. Survival of the fittest and all that sort of sense. Your death is not in vain. Aw, come on. 
These broken down houses. We found the abandoned Harris home. Anything in here? We found a energy bar, which is very good. Because energy bars have a lot of calories, which is pretty sweet. If anything, let's stop here for right now. Take stock of what we got going on and eat. Uh, so good, so, so good. Let's check the glove, glove, glove box. That got a flare, we don't necessarily need that. It'll come in handy, but for right, for right now. And there's actually a little bit of cloth that we can't actually grab. It's fine. Alright, let's leave. Hey, we can actually get in the back. Uh, that's probably something I should have checked, at least in the previous vehicles that we've actually been to. So, all of these are all fucked beyond repair, so there's not much we can actually gain from this particular part. Maybe something in the mailbox? Maybe like a magazine or something? No, nothing. Well, shit. Okay, we're just gonna continue to walk along the highway. Maybe running into something good? I freaking hope that we do. Cause... Although our situation is not super dire, it's... Um... I, w I would feel a lot more comfortable knowing that we have some place to actually recollect ourselves. Ugh. This is a fun game, but this is damn fucking hard. Okay. Just keep walking down through the place after desolation points. No idea what it's called. Do we have to... Do we go under here? Do we crawl like this? Most likely. It's kind of nerve-wracking because this is a giant fucking boulder. Okay, so we made it across that. And as long as we're protected from the wind, we'll totally be fine. In terms of, like, warmth. Although it is pretty freaking windy, holy shit. Anything, anything at all. Hmm. Hey, we're, we're leaving the crumbling highway. Max. Come here. Come here. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Max is playing with his toy. It's actually a moose, funny enough. Come here, bud. Come here, buddy. You want to say hi to everyone in the recording? Say hi, Max. Yeah, Max. He has this thing of actually putting his head on my lap. Commuter's lament. Buddy. Thank you. Sorry, bud. I'm recording something right now. I will return your moose in a little bit, because that moose is fucking loud. Nope. Go lay down. Buddy, I will cuddle with you in a bit. You gotta realize that Dad is a working man right now. He, he needs his, um, time to record, okay? Okay, buddy? Who's a good buddy? You are, as long as you listen. Anyway. Um, so we're, we're past the commuter's, we're in the commuter's lament right now. There is an elk. We probably should stay on the highway. So get back on the highway. And we did actually pick up a little bit of extra shit. So that's something we should keep in mind. New cotton took. And how are we doing in terms of warmth? We got 16, so, but it feels like minus four. Oh, buddy. So technically, if we weren't actually wearing any clothes, it would feel like minus 20. And that sounds terrible. Hey, Elk. Hey, what's going on? Bye, Elk. There doesn't seem to be much going on right now. We are dead tired. We are very, very tired. Maybe the next vehicle we stop by, we can probably sleep in there? I'm hoping that's actually an option. Like, we just like, hey, we're gonna fall asleep in this thing. Ah, oh, this is so fucking windy, holy shit. Most likely, I'd be stopping this episode when we actually find a place to stay so that I actually can recollect myself in the in-between period. But yeah, we haven't reached too much of anything. I mean, we ran into a wolf, but wolf 
found easier prey to kill, so that was pretty sweet. <sighs> the long walk in the long dark. So we see some power lines, and maybe there's something there? Maybe. I don't know. Again, this is all new territory, territory for me, so who knows? Knows, knows. Getting a bit of water while we are waiting. Okay. So let's see. Anything yet? Our condition's still okay, although we are, again, pretty damn tired. We just need somewhere to stay. Yo, hey, there it is. There's somebody. I mean, somebody, something we can stay in. That's pretty exciting. There hopefully should be a little bit of food in there, too. Uh, and there's, yeah, there's a couple places. So we'll take a look in both of these in a bit. So these are the waterfront cottages. It's exciting. Okay, so we're going to go in here and hopefully find something good. Yes! Thank you, civilization! Anything in here? I could use this. Well, you could, but you don't need it. Lantern fuel, yes please. And... I guess if anything, we go to the kitchen first, because we need some food. What's in the oven? Hey, some rabbit meat. I can still eat this. Yes, you can. You will eat the pork and beans. And hey, some herbal tea. So the tea tea and coffee are actually pretty good. Tea helps you sleep, get more rest, and coffee helps you stay warm and not lose as much rest when you woke when you wake up. So coffee in the morning, tea at night is kind of the way to that end that ends up working out. If this is any good to eat. Doesn't matter, you're gonna eat it. You are gonna eat everything and anything that you can get your hands on. Well, anything and anything that's actually relatively safe to eat. Some moldy peanut butter. Lovely. Yeah, you're just gonna pick up all the food. Doesn't matter what it is. Is there anything in the microwave? No. Close that. That'd be kind of nice if you could actually heat up your food, but I guess that wouldn't make too much sense just because of the fact that it is... I don't know, like... Everything's dead here for some fucking reason. What's in the fridge? Hope I can still eat this. What's in the freezer? Hey, some rancid venison, oh baby. And nothing up nothing in there. So let's go up here. Maybe we can find something good. This is actually a pretty sweet-ass house, if I do say so myself. I mean, I'm actually a fan. This is pretty sweet. Um, so my initial impressions is that I'm actually going to be staying here, staying, spending the night here, and then after that, we're going to be like, we're going to get ourselves into some decent, in a, into a decent position, have our clothes recovered, etc., etc. Hey, a fisherman's sweater. Fuck yeah. A fisherman's sweater is actually fucking amazing. We're gonna repair that and equip that as soon as we can. Because it has one of the best warmth to weight ratios in the game. At least for right now. So that's something that's pretty damn good. Oh, hey, don't freeze out on me. Don't freeze on me. Hope nobody needs this anymore. I'm pretty sure no one's actually gonna be needing that besides you because you're probably the only living person in this particular area for some fucking reason. Everything just flat out died. So the funny thing is, is that you can actually harvest um, some fresh water from this thing, which is really funny. I mean, I guess it makes sense. I did watch in some survival thing. I can't remember what, but this is like years ago. That some dude actually like harvested um, like f water from a tank, like a toilet, like the back of a toilet tank, just so that he can have some fresh water to drink. I mean. Considering that, I mean, it's not that bad of an idea. It's kind of gross, but, I mean, it'll be fine. Okay, so let's actually eat some stuff right now. In the in-between period, it's just going to be me actually, like, um, 
just repairing our stuff, getting thing, getting thing every, everything all set up, etc., etc. And we are back in tip-top condition. Holy shit, that was a fucking journey, now wasn't it? Anyway. So, considering that, I think this is a perfect time to end the episode, so thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button, helps out a great deal, and of course subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time in Autovox Plays The Long Dark.